Hi everyone, uh, thanks for checking out this video. Uh, so in this lesson I'm going to be telling you guys about the difference between uh, deterministic and stochastic modeling and uh, kind of just the difference between the two and, um, and advantages of each of them. Uh, so the past, uh, past couple um, videos we've been talking about uh, deterministic models which are the uh, differential equation models we've been working with. So in those models um, so what, what it means to be deterministic is that there's for each set of initial conditions there's one trajectory that it'll follow so you'll kind of get um, yeah it just for whatever the initial condition set is there'll be uh, one trajectory because it's just uh, it's determined by uh, the initial the initial conditions um, exactly so um, you kind of get some kind of like uh, some kind of like usually a smooth curve like this and um, so the difference with the stochastic model is that stochastic models involve some uh, random component. They involve uh, yeah randomness. So if you run the model, um, if you run the model a couple times, you might get um, a couple different results. You might have one trajectory looking like that, and you might have another uh, another looking like that for the same parameters. I'm talking about the same parameters and same uh, initial conditions here. Um, you know, you run it a couple times, get some. Uh, some different results each time but they have this property where if you were to sort of look at like a, a long-term average of a bunch of different trajectories the average would kind of approach uh, the the, um, the, the uh, deterministic trajectory so yeah so this is the main difference is that deterministic models don't involve any random component so their trajectory is completely determined by the initial conditions and stochastic models uh, involve a random component so even with the same parameters and same initial conditions, you can get different trajectories uh, running the model different times. So the question is, um, when should we use deterministic models and when should we use stochastic models? So in computational biology, one motivation for using stochastic models is when um, the random variation in the system is actually what you're interested in studying. So just to give an example of a time where a uh, stochastic model was necessary, um, there was actually a paper that I was a co-author on last year where we thought that um, the random variation between cells in uh, melanoma tumors could be what's, uh, what's causing the emergence of drug resistance in these tumors. So my colleagues actually developed a uh, stochastic model of a um, gene regulatory network to investigate this and see what could be, uh, what could be happening at the uh, molecular level that could be giving rise to these, uh, these drug resistant um, transcriptional states. So that's just one example of a time where a deterministic model wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have done the job properly because what we were what what we were interested in was actually um, the random variation. So that's actually what we wanted to study. So if you guys are interested in reading that, um, I'll link to uh, I'll link to that paper in the uh, description. Well, so that's just one example, but there there are many different cases where um, in biological systems, like the random variation is actually it's not an annoyance or something. It's actually what is interesting to study. But if you um, if you have a system where you're not that worried about like random variation and you're able to uh, to fully explain things um, with a deterministic model, then they are easier to use. They are definitely easier uh, to work with. But um, a lot of times with like biological systems, yeah, it's like uh, there is some uh, some random variation that can't just be ignored. And sometimes it's actually like the main thing you want to be studying. So in those cases, um, in those cases, you would want to go with a stochastic model. And so, uh, yeah, so far in this uh, video series, we've been doing um, we've been doing these uh, differential equation models that are de deterministic. But for the next couple of videos, we're going to be uh, talking about um, stochastic modeling, and I'm going to be telling you guys about um, the Gillespie algorithm, which is a uh, it's an algorithm for uh, doing stochastic simulations in a uh, fast and efficient way. Um, okay, so next video we're going to uh, get started with some of the uh, stochastic modeling. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.